Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Alicia and today I'll share with you how I practice Japanese character and also in which kind of paper I practice on. So first, you can use this type of paper for practicing hiragana, katakana and kanji. You can find it on Google by searching Japanese practicing sheet. This kind of paper helps you to make strokes correctly and also helps you to maintain the character size. Secondly, for kanji, I found this book in PDF. The link is in the description box so you can check it out. This book is purposely made for Japanese kanji learner and it also helps you to memorize kanji by illustration so that makes it more easy. Third one you can make by yourself. There are many different ways for creating a great notebook or practicing papers. The first way is like this. And now the second way is this. Third one you can make on a graph book or paper which I have like this and you just need to make lines. Now most of the people get confused when to use the ruler notebook and when to use the grid bin. So if you have just started learning hiragana and katakana, use the grid bin because it helps you to make characters in a correct formation. But if you are already familiar with the characters and still not be able to write characters correctly, so you should still use the grid book. And when you can write characters comfortably using the correct strokes, then you can write and practice in the ruler notebook. I hope that this video cleared all your confusion and helped you to make your own grid book. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and you can leave any recommendations for the next video in the comment section. Always learn something new. Thank you.